The biblical name of the Jordan River is Yardim, often misunderstood to be the proper name of this legendary biblical river. The name Yardim is actually a noun. It means the descender and is meant to describe its most northern position on the biblical map, an ability to flow only southwards, thus descend from the north. The Hebrews defined north and south by Egyptian definitions, which, like modern Western definitions and concepts, were the standard definitions in biblical times. The Egyptians understood north and south opposite to the way that these terms are understood today. North was the direction of the origin of the Nile, while south was the direction towards which the Nile flowed, towards Egypt. On an ancient Egyptian map, South Africa would represent the most northern part of the known world, while Europe would be the south. This is why Egyptologists refer to ancient North Egypt as South Egypt, and vice versa. This was in fact the standard understanding of North and South in the Near East until very recently when the opposite definition became global in the colonial era. The Hebrews adhered to these ancient definitions of North and South and also understood these terms completely opposite to the way that they are understood today. North was the South and vice versa. With this in mind, could the author of Exodus 13 have been any more explicit when he wrote that God led the Israelites by the way of the desert along the Nile River and the Israelites ascended out of Egypt, Hebrew word Olu, meaning to go up or north. Where could north or south by modern definitions out of Egypt through the Saharan desert along the Nile River lead the Hebrews? The Jordan River, the descender, was the furthest and most northern river in the Holy Land, as it had no source north of it. It flowed southwards before connecting with the biblical Yam Suf, which later flowed towards Egypt. The biblical Jordan River is the Tekese River of Ethiopia. The Tekese Adbara Basin is the furthest northeastern part of the Nile. Starting in the central Ethiopian highlands, the Tekese is situated in the heart of the Biblical Holy Land. It has no source south of it, or by Biblical definition, north of it, and it flows only south before connecting with the Atbara River, its biggest tributary. On the Biblical map, the area where the Tekese connects with the Atbara is where the Biblical Yam Suf begins. This is subsequently also the region that the ancient Egyptians called the land of the Yam Nubians. The first branch is the Tekesa branch, which starts in the Ethiopian highlands, in the city of Lalibela, and flows westward before crossing the borders of Ethiopia to Sudan. This was the eastern branch of the biblical Jordan River. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, the second branch is the Angara branch. This branch is located in northwestern Ethiopia. It further branches westward to cross the borders of the Sudan and continues through the plains of eastern Sudan before joining with the main Nile in a town called Atbara. This branch represents on a biblical map the western branch of the Jordan River, the branch that is referred to in the Bible as the Jordan westward where it crossed into the borders of Moab, in southeastern Sudan. And it came to pass when all the kings of the Amorites which were on the side of Jordan westward. The region where Moses delivered his last sermon, and Joshua began his conquest of Canaan. The Bible describes the Jordan as the source of fertility of a large plain said to have been watered like the Garden of Eden. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as you go towards Zoe. This same fertile area, we're told, was later overturned and destroyed, and left totally barren, and came to be known as the overthrown cities of the plain. And it came to pass, 
when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in which Lot had dwelt. Being a tributary of the Atbara River, which in turn used to distribute water to the modern-day Afar Depression, the Tekese is known to once have distributed water to parts of the modern-day Danakil Depression, which modern radar technology has revealed was once a green fertile area a few thousand years ago. These were the plains of the Jordan, which Genesis described as once having been green and fertile before the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, two small villages located in ancient times in northeastern Ethiopia, modern-day Danakil Desert. The area where Lot chose to settle after seeing the tropical climate of the region before it turned into a salty desert. An interesting detail in the story of Lot that coincides very much with the geological reality of the modern-day Danakil Depression. But his wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of salt. The Tekese is the river that Jacob crossed on his way to Assyria, Elijah on his way to rebuke Ahab, and whose water miracle workers like Elisha and Jesus used to cure the sick and heal the leper. And then eventually all the Christian characters, uh, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, uh, appear on this island as well. The belief in the healing power of the Tekesi water is maintained even in modern times among the indigenous population of Ethiopia. It is also the river that the Hebrews, under the guidance of Joshua and the Ark of the Covenant, crossed to enter the Holy Land of Ethiopia from the plains of southeastern Sudan. Uh, at this very spot, uh, the Ark of the Covenant, uh, according to the history and the mythologies here, uh, was for 800 years before it was transferred to Aksum. The author Augustus Wilde records his story that near the source of the Tekese River, at the location of the Iyala Kudus Church, lies the true resting place of the Ark of the Covenant. Medieval Ethiopian traditions also hold that King Melilik I, the first monarch of Ethiopia, returned from Egypt to Ethiopia by following along the Tekese River, much like the Hebrews who also migrated along the Nile River from Egypt into the Holy Land of Ethiopia 2,000 years earlier. We'll cover Joshua's conquest of Canaan in the following episode.